video is to demonstrate something that is known as the Adamski effect. It is an effect used by a fine art photographer named Josh Adamski, born in 1948 in Israel. Um, so the point of this is to create a background that is blurred in some manner to show motion. It could be vertically, it could be horizontally, it could follow a path like along water or a road or a landscape. So we're just going to do a basic one here. Um, this is a senior photo that I took. And so the first thing that we are going to do here is we are going to make a copy. Just we have our background copy. Um, with this, we need to select the subject. Now we are here in Photoshop 2024. Select subject has become a lot easier and there's several ways to do it over here we can go object selection we can click select subject here or if we have the uh, generative fill bar here which I have it pinned and can move around you can select subject there either way I'm just gonna click select subject uh, AI should find the person and this um, is where you need to pay a little bit of attention here so if I go to my lasso tool, L for lasso tool, and I zoom in, I want to go around the edge and make sure that I have this selected correctly. Now, she's selected, and if you are adding or subtracting from a selection, you use the short, you press the shift key or the option key. I'm on a Mac, so I will be maybe a little bit different on a PC. The negative sign means to take away from the selection, subtract from it, positive side, add. So I'm just gonna kinda go around and it does not have to be entirely perfect, okay? But I wanna show you a little bit about how to do this. Um, for this, she's pretty good, okay? But I just wanna make sure to get in there, make sure your pixels up here are on one or zero, the top there. And so, all you have to hold either Shift or Alt Option because if you don't and you click with the lasso tool, it will take away everything that you've selected. Oh, and see, if you use the wrong tool, just hit the Command Z or just step back. Okay, so I have a little bit around here on the jacket. Um, around the shoes, it gets kind of funky. So, and your photo will be different because you're going to be photographing uh, someone else. It's going to be a subject that you're photographing for this assignment, more than likely. Um, the bottom of the shoe looks, looks okay. Just use a little smooth it out a little bit. It cuts in a little bit more here. So, and I'm just using my non dominant hand to determine what gets cut out. Okay. Uh, with the lasso tool also, if you let go of the tool, like right now if I let go of the tool, it's going to jump back to the original spot. So you can see right there, it popped back over here and it connected it. So I'm just scrolling around the entire selection. So, so you can see I have some of the bricks selected out here that I do not want. And when you do the effect, you're going to see that if you have a lot of extraneous uh, selection around the outside it will affect your look and and I could show you how to fix that later if need be I'll leave this one to show you how to fix it so it looks pretty good so I'm gonna hit command J which is duplicate the selection so now she's on her own selection right there um, and it looks pretty good so now to go back I'm gonna turn the background layer off so I don't have that on there and then I'm gonna take this layer here the layer that has the background on it okay and I need to remove her from the background. So right now, there she is on the background. So I'm going to click on the layer that has just the selection, OK, while holding down the Command button. What happens when I do this is it reselects her. Now, you have to make sure that once you do that, you select the layer where you want to remove your subject from. So this is layer one here. 
and there's a couple ways to remove the subject but before I do that I want to expand my selection now it's right up against her body I want to expand it a little bit uh, there's two options to do this you can either go to if you have this menu here you can go to expand selection here right there it's perfect it's right there in front of us or you can go up to select modify expand and I'm going to expand it by about 20 pixels okay so you can see that it if you zoom in it added a bit around her okay so now this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit shift delete shift delete okay you can also go to edit content aware fill or you hit shift delete shift delete will bring up this same box that's a shortcut and there's options here foreground color background color whatever color you choose content aware is one we'll use pattern history black gray or white we're going to use content aware it's going to look and become aware of the content around her to fill in so i'm going to hit okay now here's the deal when you do this guys if you still have that selection the top layer with just your subject on it um if you have that turned on you're not going to see anything you're going to be like it didn't do anything sure it did so I'm going to turn that layer off. I'm still on the layer I'm working on. And I do have some residual weird stuff going on here. Um, but depends on how much of it you have. Depends on if it's going to affect your photo. And it all really depends on what your background looks like. Um, I'm going to leave it so I can show you what it looks like with it involved. If I need to step back and change it, I will later in the video. Once I have this layer and I have your subject off, and you have to have the subject removed or it will look really weird, you're going to go to Filter. You're going to go to Blur. Uh, you can either go to the Blur Gallery and use the Path Blur, or you can go to Blur Motion Blur. The difference between these um, is the other has the angle kind of built in already. So if you start grabbing this and pulling it out, you could see what it does, okay? And if you look at this, you're getting these dark edges because she's not entirely gone from this, okay? So you could pull it up like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it's to your liking. It's to your liking, so I can't say, oh, you have to do it at 1300 pixels, because I don't know. It depends on your background, what's in your background. I'm gonna press okay. And I'm gonna turn her layer back on. And why this works with this one is it adds a little shadow, almost like a little shadow around her. Now, some place looks pretty good under the leg, maybe under the other leg here. Um, over here around the um, fingers, it looks a little funky. So let's look at her fingers. So it wasn't perfectly cut out earlier. Um, so you might want to go in and just kind of clean that edge up a little bit right here. Okay. Now, how do we do it? Okay, lots of ways. Well, my favorite way is, of course, a mask. So, you just want to kind of clean up, make sure your edges are all good. Um, again, your mask is white, so my brush is black. I'm going to get in there and just kind of clean up a little bit and clean up around here on top of the, uh, of the hand as well. Um, the rest looks kind of okay. So if you want to add a little bit of that shadow under her back in, this is what you do. Go to your motion blur layer, put a mask on it. The mask is white, paint and black. Don't ever do it, but take uh, maybe a low, uh, I don't know, low flow, How about 30, let's try 30. And just kind of go, oops, make sure in the right place. Okay, and just kind of bring a little bit of that back in. Why isn't that working? Oh, because I have to have the background layer on. I'm, I'm silly. Okay, background layer has to be on for this to work because I'm getting the shadow off of that layer. That's why we wonder what's going on there. We use a really, really low brush and just add a little bit of that shadowing back in. There are other ways you can do that if you want. You can also put a drop shadow on her. Okay, you could. So see, I'm adding a little bit of the shadow back in right here. 
just real soft like okay okay so that looks a little weird i might paint a little bit of that back out but you kind of get the gist okay i'm kind of pulling some of that back out there you go okay so that is step one this is the first photo export this save it export etc okay when you're done you're going to do a second photo okay you're going to do the same exact steps as the first photo um, it has to be a second photo it can be the same model different photo okay but this is what you're going to do you're going to take this layer right here that is where she is the motion blur layer you're going to go around this is called a partial effect or maybe a partial cut whatever you want to call it partial motion and so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to bring back i'm going to bring back some of that um, non-motion areas so i'm just going to figure out what i need to include i'm just using a lasso tool to make a selection right there and then i'm going to change this feather so because i want the edge to be really soft i'm going to say let's say 20 pixels okay you have to hit enter and then we take my brush tool i'm gonna make sure i'm on black brush black brush maybe about 60 percent make sure you're on your mask and not the background i'm gonna start painting and when i start painting if i paint with black it starts bringing some of that back into it now if you hit command d for the uh deselect you're gonna start seeing you're gonna see that edge and I think the edge is not perfect, it's really harsh. So I'm just gonna use a smaller brush and drop my opacity a little lower. And I'm just gonna kind of blend in the brush around the edges like this, okay? I'm just gonna blend it in. What this is called, this is what I call it, I call it partial. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this, I'm gonna bring it all the way down here to the edge of my screen here. Um, it's just one, one other way to do it. Now, if this line of, of uh, cement right here looks really bad to you and you're just, I don't want that there you can go in use a stamp tool get rid of it I frankly would do that if I were you if I had something like that but I also told you I was going to tell you how to get rid of this right here so go up to her white mask use a black brush 100% oops 100% on the brush and I am going to make sure I'm on my mask. I'm just going to mask that out. Get rid of it. Okay. So that's the two different images that you need to make for this week. Please do not turn in the same image. Edit it both ways. That's not what the assignment is. There are two assignment, two different images for this assignment. Thank you. Any questions? Let me know.